Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing the performance testing of the newly launched Nord 4. So the newly launched OnePlus Nord 4 comes with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 platform which is really good uh, mid-range chip, almost as good as uh, the Snapdragon uh, 8s gen 3 and even the snapdragon 8 gen 2 so it's a very good uh, chip in fact uh, this is comparable to the 8 series even though it's uh, under the 7 series now the oneplus nord uh, uh, 4 comes with this and we'll just go to the settings here uh, about device you can see here oneplus nord 4 snapdragon 7 plus gen 3 platform and 5500 milliamp power battery 12 gigabyte ram and uh, this has uh, uh, 256 gigabyte storage so this variant is ufs 4.0 support and lpddr uh, 5x ram while uh, the uh, 128 gigabyte variant is ufs uh, 3.1 so this is a uh, ufs 4.0 so uh, we'll be doing the performance testing of the uh, oneplus nord 4 uh, the ufs 4.0 version that's a 256 gigabyte ram variant so let's start to get uh, started with uh, performance testing so we'll be using the stress test uh, cpu throttling test storage test and to benchmark geek bench so we'll be doing performing these tests and see how good the performance is so let's start off with uh, the cpu throttling test so here we go so we have set the parameters uh, options we have set you can see here we have set everything so so save the details and we'll start the testing So now we have completed uh, the CPU throttling test and you can see the graph here. So CPU throttled to 74% of its max performance is the value we got. So max value is 329 and average value is 265 and minimum is 235 and you can see the graph. CPU throttling was around 74% of its max performance. So next let's go to the stress test and see how the OnePlus Nord 4 performs. So next uh, would be the wildlife extreme uh, stress test. You can see here this is the wildlife extreme uh, stress test. So we are going to do the wildlife extreme uh, stress test and uh, see how the performance is. So next uh, we have uh, the wildlife uh, extreme uh, stress test and you can see here stability is 92.4 percentage and the best loop score is 3073 and uh, the lowest loop score is 2838 so 92.4 percentage is the stability which is quite good now let's also see the temperature and uh, you can see here temperature 35 degrees to 40 degrees so just 5 percentage uh, 5 degrees increase and it was well under control the battery went down from 82 to 69 percentage that means almost 13 percentage drop and uh, frame rate is 12 to 22 fps so you can see all the details temperature rise uh, the battery drop etc after the test so it's a 20 loop test uh, the wildlife extreme stress test next let's go to the other test uh, the anti to benchmark test so we have just performed the anti-to benchmark test and you can see the score here uh, this is a score 12,93,309 is what we got in fact uh, uh, the uh, the raw benchmark score for the snapdragon 7 plus gen 3 is slightly more but uh, we have done a couple of testing we got uh, almost close to 13 lakh that's the value we got and you can see the cpu score uh, gpu score and uh, the memory score and ux score this is uh, with uh, uh, the performance mode turned on again it might vary but uh, this is what maximum we got uh, the 12 uh, almost 13 lakh anti to benchmark test now let's uh, also see the storage test this is ufs uh, uh, 4.0 actually this is the uh, uh, 256 gigabyte variant so it's UFS 4.0 and you can see that 1,66,116 is the score that's a really good score actually for UFS 4.0 so that's the storage test and we'll finally go to the uh, Geekbench test and we'll see how good the Geekbench values are so final test would be the Geekbench uh, benchmarking test. So we just uh, done the benchmarking test. You can see a single core score is 1876 and multi core score is 4985 which is quite good here. And you can see all the details here. 
so single core 1876 and multi core score is uh, 4985 so that was the benchmarking score and the stress test and the cpu throttling test and also the performance test of the oneplus nord 4 so we have done the testing uh, at 120 hertz refresh rate and again uh, the performance mode is turned on in the battery settings and we started off uh, testing with around uh, uh, 89 percentage battery and now we are at uh, 66 percentage battery and always the temperature was below 42 degrees and the battery drain was around uh, almost close to 22 percentage during the entire testing and um, uh, the performance was quite good actually uh, UFS 4.0 values are pretty good again uh, it's LPDD 5x RAM uh, the Snapdragon 7 plus Gen 3 it's a pretty good uh, performing device in this price segment so hope this video is useful do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day